being associated with the name Paddy, you have to you have to kind of represent that in a in a positive way. Irish musician Paddy Mulcahy is proud to be called Paddy, a nickname for Patrick that is often maligned in negative ways. People think you know we're fighters, uh, we would be drink too much. It's just a stereotypical thing that's completely related to everybody from Ireland. So we want to kill that. We want to change that and change people's perspective. That is the goal of photographer Ross O'Callaghan. Three, two, one, go. Whose new exhibit in Pershing Square highlights pictures of Paddies who are proud of their name. I'm trying to go around, I'm trying to shoot real life Paddies and real life stories and, you know, challenge that stereotype that there's no such thing as a, as a stereotypical Paddy. More than 20 of O'Callaghan's 50 images are on display for a week just across from Grand Central Terminal along the Pershing Square walkway. There's a story behind each of them. Paddy Hill spent 16 and a half years in prison for a crime he didn't commit during the Troubles in Ireland. Patrick's a very well-known comic and comedian from, uh, from Belfast in Northern Ireland. Paddy goes to an integrated school in Northern Ireland and 15, 20 years ago there was no such thing. This is Paddy Liam O'Brien. He left Ireland and went to Australia back in the early 60s and he says he's after, she he's after shearing over a million sheep. The nickname took on a derogatory connotation as Irish immigrants arrived in the U.S. a century ago. That's when the police paddy wagon was named in reference to drunk Irish men. To some Patricks, it's offensive to call them paddy. The name has got negative connotations and we're here to challenge that with all these real life, real life paddies. I suppose you have to be proud of your name and you have to, you have to kind of represent what you stand for. I mean, what's more correct, saying happy St. Patrick's Day or happy St. Paddy's Day? Well, I don't really care what you say as long as you're all happy. So, what's in a name? They tell me Patrick is always socially acceptable. But before you call someone Patty, it might be a good idea to check with them if they're okay with it first. This exhibit will be here until next Wednesday. Afterwards, all 50 images will be on display at the New York Irish Center in Long Island City next month.